Interpolation. Welcome to lesson on e-survey lists related to interpolation. Interpolating value is an integral part of any survey drawing preparation process. There are three popular methods of interpolating values. Weighted average, triangulation and 3D polyline based interpolation. In this chapter, LISPS interpolates value with weighted average method. Means, interpolation is done with respect to distance of points from reference values. Interpolate at midpoint of selected texts. Using the ISM command, you can interpolate a point at the midpoint of the two selected elevation texts. The newly interpolated text value will be created in a layer called layer 1. Interpolate value at given point. Using the ISP command, you can interpolate values, that is elevations, at a given point, depending on any two elevation texts. Interpolate n values between given points. N number of values can be interpolated in between selected texts using ISN command. If you have two elevations at around 20 meter distances, and you wish to create three interpolated values between these two elevations, Use ISN command and specify 3 as the number of elevations and ISN command will interpolate 3 elevations in between these selected reference elevations. Interpolate values at a given distance. ISD works similarly to ISN command. Here, instead of number of items, you need to specify the distance between interpolated values. Interpolate randomly on the basis of reference text. All the above method of interpolation are dependent on two reference elevation. But in some of the requirements, you may have to interpolate the values only with single reference text. In such cases, RNDT lisp can be used which interpolates values with single reference elevation within a specified range. Say you have an elevation text 98.23 and if you wish to keep the interpolated value between 97.73 and 98.73 you may specify a range as minus 0.5 and plus 0.5 when you select a new point the elevation derived random value will fall between 97.73 and 98.73 scatter elevations around cross section line preparing survey drawing involves interpolating the values at multiple points Sometimes, surveyors do not wish to show that the elevations are interpolated, particularly when values are interpolated at regular interval. Anyone referring the drawing can make out that these values are interpolated. To avoid such a situation after interpolation, text can be scattered around its insertion point to make it appear as if the survey was done very close to required points. Dump random numbers DRN command serves the purpose of interpolating values randomly around a reference value. Say a small ditch survey is done and only single level at the approximate bottom of the ditch is taken. Now if the requirement is to show multiple values within the same ditch, using DRN command value of elevation texts of randomly placed texts inside the ditch can be changed at once. Thank you. In the next chapter, you will learn lists related to finding area in survey drawings.